everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Cold Fire. And I'm Kit. And I've been away for a while. We both had the flu. We're now struggling still to get over it. But I think we made it through the end. So we, we made it through the wilderness. Yeah, we made it through the wilderness. And we survived. Um, we're going to get back on the Madonna journey. And we're also going to continue doing some songs uh, by myself as well. Because uh, I know there's a lot of requests been out there since I've been sick. But the first one we're going to be reacting to is Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell on the Arsenio Hall show of 1992. Now what we're trying to do is go down the Madonna journey and try to do as many appearances she appeared in as in order. To show her biography, sort of, of her things. And the interviews I think are very important because they do tell a little bit about this about what the controversy was how she was a diva how she has she navigated through the interviews stuff like that so i find the interviews just as important as covering the album they're and important. they're just not as exciting as the music yeah. now this one right here is not necessarily promoting the um there's gonna be some of the reactions react to today that are not involved with bedtime stories which would be obvious but there's some that we forgot to do that were regarding around the time when she was doing erotica. So without further ado, let's see what they do on here. One young lady is a very, very funny regular we have here. Uh, I, yeah, I love her. You love her too? Yes, indeed. She's a rising superstar in the world of comedy. And her friend, um, I don't know. Breathless material girl, I guess you could call her. <laughs> Everything she does makes headlines. Please welcome Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna. people from the 80s always have to wear glasses yeah we didn't have that good of quality I know a lot of stuff that has they're, they're trying to update a lot of rare footage stuff no, that, I get it I get it I'm just, I mean there's stuff out there that I still can't find that Madonna so, has done with interviews because so if you were so not, far back if you were not born in the 1980s or 90s or 90s you're not used to this poor or this low quality yeah. But it was all we had at the time. So, anyways, that's all. It didn't seem like low quality though when we were watching it. Of course not. Because it was live. Mm -hmm. Remember? This is probably off somebody's VHS or. Pure gold. That's very kind of you. Love. Welcome aboard the love train. Um, wait, okay, we have time. We have time for one question. Uh, okay, you all are wait buddies. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice monologue. Throwing shade. <laughs> 
shade on poor Michael. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, I, okay. you know why I thought it would be all right? He gave them permission to use both, so I figure he obviously acknowledges it and doesn't yeah. mind, you know? I'd like to pretend it isn't happening, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's, That's the point. old Michael is the new Michael. He just grew up. <laughs> we don't know what happened. It's a weird skin disease. It just changes shape. <laughs> his nose fell off and his lips got thin. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. She didn't mean that. Do you all ever go out and have one embarrass the other? Yes. <laughs> Madonna embarrasses me all the time. We went to the Academy Award party. Remember that? Yes. We weren't supposed to go to the Academy Award party. We were Why supposed not? To, we were supposed to go to my house and have pizza and watch the Academy Awards. <laughs> I was going to be wearing a sweatsuit. I didn't have to worry about... And she calls me two days before and says, we're going to go to Spago's to Swifty Lazar's party. So? so I had nothing to wear. <laughs> I get out of the limo, everyone's going, Madonna and Kathy Bates, is that Kathy Bates? <laughs> Who the hell is Madonna? I think it's Delta Burke. Who the... Over here, Miss Burke, who the hell's with her? <laughs> and then, who the hell is I sat next to Walter Cronkite and um, Dennis Hopper. Mmm, nice evening. And then Madonna sat next to Joan Collins, talked to Joan the whole night, left me alone with Walter and Dennis. <laughs> Did you or did you but not? I think, yeah, but there was a theme at the table. There was a reason that we were all sitting at the table. What was that? Well, because you and and uh, me and Joan Collins all slept with Warren Beatty. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. That's how he places people, Swifty Lazar, based on who you slept with. So. <laughs> so. But then we're at the party, and what happens? Bette Midler walks over, who's my idol, right? Yeah. And so what did you do? What, what'd you do? I sit like this. I go, don't say anything. But Pat Miller's right there. Bad! <laughs> this is my friend Rosie. She loves you. Bad! <laughs> and Pat Miller goes, who are you? Rachel Donahue? Hugh? It was totally embarrassing. Remember that? But, you know, she needs you with her. I mean, you said many times that you're kind of a bodyguard. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Why don't you show them what you do, honey? <laughs> Come here, get up. We have to show them. All right, so if we go to the movies or anything, this is what I do. All right, stand behind me. I'll get the seat. Back off! Back off! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and you're doing a movie, how does a friendship begin? How did you all click? Well, me and Ro have a lot in common. Right. Like? Well, we both lost our mothers at a really young age. Mm -hmm. And we both were raised in large Catholic families. And we both slept with Warren Beatty. <laughs> 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 the, initial, the initial bonding thing. But, um, and also, we, you know, I knew we became friends when Madonna started to share a candy with me. Oh, right? She shared my hot tamales. She shared her hot tamales. That's On the other hand, we don't like a lot of the same things. That's true. I mean, like? we, I mean, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, <laughs> what I meant is, on the other hand, we don't agree on anything. Not on anything, mostly on movies. She has horrible taste in movies. No, you have horrible taste. She has Walt Disney taste in movies. I do not. I do not. She's Bart, a loser okay, when it comes Bart and Fink. What the hell was that Love movie? Love that movie. I didn't know, understand the whole thing. Because it was intellectual. All right, I hated that movie. Okay, Far and Away. Loved it. Sleeping. <laughs> okay. Did you see the movie Lovers? No, I missed it. Wait a second. I had to go home and <laughs> my boyfriend. As soon as I saw it. <laughs> They'll bleep you? I certainly hope so. <laughs> I, on the other hand, had like three things of popcorn and was totally bored. I hated the Italian movie. I didn't understand it. Because she never had sex. Oh. <laughs> God. But, but you... I don't think you should be sharing my private life with strangers. <laughs> You're hurting people. <laughs> but you did sleep with Warren Beatty. Well, just that one night and I was very drunk. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding. Okay, let me ask both of you. Do either of you regret sleeping with Warren? Madonna, first, you do not regret it. Oh. Why? Why should I? Do you? Um, no, he was very good in bed. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was incredible. I, 
I regret, uh, let's not talk about the past. Or let's talk about the present like you, naked in Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. No. Why? <laughs> no. No. Oh! <laughs> she means that in a loving way. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Like you love your cat. Exactly right. Yes. Yeah, I love my cat. <laughs> um, she loves her cat. I love her cat. Let's get back. Mo. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get back to this Playboy yeah, thing. It's home. hard not to think about the Playboy thing because I'm sitting here looking at your nipple. This is the hardest interview. <laughs> well, my nipple, my nipple is hard. So what are you gonna do? Well, what can I say? <laughs> Thank you very much. But this is, anyway, I mean, this is your nipple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to think about the Playboy thing because I'm sitting here looking at your nipple. This is the hardest interview. Well, what can I say? <laughs> but this is, I mean, but um, uh, speaking of Playboy, I mean, the girl in the cover looks really familiar. I'm sitting here. Oh, it's like that. You, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, but does she look familiar? Yeah, who is that girl? Yeah, who is that? Wait, 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 wait. This is not an interview about me. Familiar. Ooh, you are as she cold as, as ice. I don't know who she is, but she looks familiar to <laughs> yeah. me. And I, she does look as cold familiar. as vanilla ice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move on? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 You know, this is like going to a party with your 13-year-old brother who farts and burps. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying the and, you know, and my parents are watching. It's very embarrassing. Oh, man. Yes. What are you wearing? Excuse me? What are you wearing? <laughs> well, it's sort of a cross between Morticia Adams and Stevie Nicks. <laughs> okay, I just, I just wanted to check. You okay. know, you're a size one. It's very easy to fit you. I am not a size one. New flash. This looks like my grandmother. This looks like my grandmother's hey, hand cloth. You're hurting people. It was $300. <laughs> well, Stevie Nicks, what? Just like a one wing down. Did you want to say something? Yeah, and I don't want to ask you a question. Uh, it's a business question. Uh, has, has Playboy, no, has Playboy kind of messed up what you planned on doing with your book by doing this little scumbag no, preemption? No, we had a lot more stuff than that. Oh, okay, good. So you're not mad at them? Um, no, I don't want to waste my time on Playboy. Filled and trash. Yeah. No, but <laughs> speaking of my book, you know, Rosie's in it. She posed for me. Yes. Are you in it nude? Yeah, I'm on page 33, and I sort of spilled over to page 34. <laughs> I think it was a nice shot, though, don't you think? Yeah, her skin is very luminous. Really? Yeah. Thank like, you, honey. Like butter. Like butter. You're the best. <laughs> How did you all like Indiana? I liked Indiana because I'm, you know, stand-up comic, like you used to be in On the Road. Mm -hmm. If there's a mall and a movie theater and a McDonald's, I'm happy. But she, don't make excuses. She likes that stuff regardless of the fact that she's a comic. <laughs> we were very friendly before we came out here, and I, I don't know, know what happened. <laughs> what did say? You're hurting people. I loved Indiana. She did. She loved it. Was it was great. She's thinking of buying a house there, right in Evansville. Now, why don't I believe that? <laughs> I loved it. Are you kidding? I well, loved actually, it. The reason I asked is the, they did the there. thing that they did the Madonna thing with the line through it and a circle around it. That's yeah. the international. They thought I threw shade on them. Oh. What do you do? She said it was like being. They only had one drag bar there. It was. <laughs> and we went. Should I tell them this? On Madonna's birthday, we went to a drag bar and um, there was a guy doing Madonna. And. You know, doing, what was he doing, Vogue? Mm -hmm. And she went up there with like a roll of 20s and started handing him money, and he's just taking the money thinking, who's this little she. dark... She. She, sorry. <laughs> who's this little... Who's this little dark-haired woman giving me... And then it clicked that it was Madonna. He started to cry. Aww. She started to cry. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> Touching story. I know you want to come across as a cold bitch, but you're not a cold bitch. And I'm trying to show... Hey, Rosie. Can you go back to my nipple? Uh, <laughs> guys, um, no, let's move on. Um, when we were at the Amphar Benefit and mm -hmm. you did Madonna for Madonna, yeah. was that intimidating? By Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it wasn't intimidating because Mo was there watching. It was more intimidating than the people who I didn't know. You know, all the other celebrities who were there, Barry Manilow and all the people who, hey! <laughs> what? No, listen, a big fly. It, was, it threw up on her ear and flew away. What's that? Did you see the movie The Fly? That's how they eat. They throw up and then the Jeff Goldblum on my ear. Yeah. <laughs> Get the way. Ew. The people with 
off. Uh -oh. um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll protect you if I see my it. My hairspray is attracted to my hair. If I see it anywhere near you, don't worry, I'll kill I'll it. I'll keep Just an eye like out, too. Vogue, yeah. Vogue. Yeah. Come, Come on. Get back to me. All right, thank you. <laughs> Madonna, did you think it was funny? Uh-huh. And did you think I'm a great singer? No. Oh. Had you ever seen her do it before? Do that particular song? Yeah. Well, no, but I've heard her sing before, and I warned her never to do it again in my presence. <laughs> see, I think I'm actually a very good singer. Well, would you all like to see a little bit of it? Rosie, just a little bit of it, please. Oh, well. You all know the song. You play it all the time. Oh, Rosie, come on, because we know the song. We know the song. Oh, oh my God. Something like this. What is that about? Nothing. It's about nothing. And how does Rosie know? I don't go out with men that pose with guns on the cover of magazines. <laughs> <laughs> because I know because she calls me when she's breaking up with them and tells me, you know, how they're all slime. So she never told me that he was slime, so therefore she was never with them. Exactly. And what, Case closed. what does Rosie tell you about her life? Nothing, please. Nothing. I have no life, remember? We've said that before. <laughs> Leave me alone. You <laughs> Rosie always calls me up because she wants to do a movie with Queen Latifah. And Madonna's going to produce it. Yeah. Okay. And we talk about it all the time. It's going to be called White Girls Can't Rap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have a small part in it. Well, yeah, Madonna and I are going to play really dumb white female rappers. Yeah, it's a stretch. And Because um, <laughs> you know how there are so many dumb white male rappers? Don't get me in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we just thought we'd, you know, do like dumb white female rap, like about stupid, you know, dumb, dumb answers to very complex solutions. Like, give us, give me a social problem, we'll show you. Oh, yeah. gosh, give racism. Me right racism, okay, racism, go. Don't you want to stand up and do it? All right, let's stand up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo, yo, yo. Racism, it's really bad. Racism, it makes us mad. Word, uh, dope, stupid, fresh. Fat. Don't say fat. <laughs> <laughs> now we can do any topic. Any, give, me, give us another one. We'll oh, show you. Okay, depression. Depression, all right. Yo, yo, yo. Depression. It's really bad. Depression. It makes us mad. Word. Uh, stupid. Fresh. So fat. Don't say fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love those 
tune. Both of them. Um, uh, Freddie Demand told me that. Hey, don't be defensive. Relax. What's your problem? Uh, Wait, I'm wearing about... my Lucifer ring. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> Lucifer ring? What is that and why? Who is Lucifer? I'll tell you about it later. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Why should I act different just because I'm on TV? That's a good point. That's a very you gotta good point. You got to be me. Yeah. Just like you. Who are you kidding? <laughs> She's a sweet girl, but she, she doesn't want anybody to know. Girl. I know. Um, I was talking to Freddie. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a commercial in a moment, and I'll... Uh... Say for me was good. Give me a high five. Very good. Good one. You're hurting people. You like butter. <laughs> Madonna, yes? I was talking to Freddie about proper grounds, and and you kind of becoming this mogul. You didn't want them on the. You didn't want them on the I show. I want them to have a record before I bring them on the show. What kind of business woman are you? They gotta have a. <laughs> 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 now be nice. That's why Vanilla Ice left you. <laughs> Don't be waving that big old long thing at me. Uh, <laughs> So tell me about the group, though, because when they have an album, I want to bring them here. Okay, Proper Grounds. Proper Grounds rules, okay? Excellent. Yeah, they're great. This is the group, first group I signed. You're going to put them on your label? Yeah, Maverick. And when will the album be out? Hopefully in the fall. Coincide with my album. I hope it doesn't compete. <laughs> song that we wrote for your album during the movie? No. All right. <laughs> Forget it. We, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. We have a clip from the movie, actually. Let's look at a clip. We... Oh, can oh, I throw to the clip? Oh, that's right. We're promoting We're doing the, the movie, okay, remember? Okay, can okay. I throw the clip because it's my first movie? I never did it. Go for it. Would you mind? Go ahead. All right. This is uh, me and Madonna in A League of Their Own, directed by Penny Marshall, coming out July 1st. <laughs> roll, roll to the clip, Sandy. Kick it. <laughs> Copyrights. Copyrights. So, Rosie, um, was Jose Canseco the technical consultant on the movie? Yes, he was, and I believe he coached Madonna privately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In baseball, right? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> but as I said, the movie opens on July 1st, and it's really good, right, Madonna? Mm-hmm. Is this your first time working with Penny Marshall as a director? Yeah, yeah. Want to see what she's like? Yeah, she, let's show him what she's like to work with as a director. All right, I'll be Penny. Okay, you rule Should I be me? You be you. Okay, I'll be me. Go ahead. Okay, um, Penny, like, for this scene, um... Yeah? Do you, <laughs> do you want me to play it, you know, like, should the char should my character be sad or just, like, hurt? Mo, 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 mo. <laughs> You go over there, you do something, you go over there, you saw what you know, the thing will start with the other th action! <laughs> Thanks, Laverne. <laughs> My summer with Laverne, that's what the movie should be called. <laughs> Your summer with Laverne, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Hassan, Beth Incorporated. <laughs> it's, very, it's really a very good movie. I'm, in fact, I'm going to see it again tonight. I saw it twice. I'm go I am. I'm going to see it. I've never seen myself in a movie. The first time we went, we saw it. Hey, you know? Well, you're not this mean to me in real life. I'm, I've never been in a movie. You're a big movie star, okay? Just a little comic from Long Island. It's a big thing for me. So please, don't be hurting me. We'll take a commercial. We'll come right back with don't Rosie and me. Madonna. Rosie, yes. we always hear about her personal life and men in her... Per Who's the man in your life? Who are you in love with? I'm in <laughs> love with the concept Do of being know? in love, but I don't think I've ever been in real love yet. So really? I'm waiting for it to hit me like it does in the movies, you know, with the soundtrack and the it's little hearts appearing above the sky and me, like, skipping to work. You know, that's what I'm waiting to happen. And when it hits me, you'll be the first to know. What kind of man do you like? Um... Whatever kind is available and is interested in a chubby Irish girl and men that wears bad clothes. I know what kind of men she likes. What? Men that like to eat out. Oh. You mean restaurants? In restaurants. Yeah. In food. In she means restaurants. food. In restaurants. Yeah. She means food. Everyone, what are you food. Doing? I like, it's, what are you doing? 
It's like a liability. Help us here. What are you doing there? Don't pull that off. That belongs hey, on there. Hey, that's that's, a, that's it's, sewn on there. It's, you hang the skirt up with that. Don't pull it off. It's bugging me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is the most famous woman in the world. See, I have. Can I, can I match you up with somebody? Who? A friend of mine. Yo. Oh, no. Come here for a minute. I want you to meet Rosie O'Donnell. Discipline her for things she does? Occasionally. What's the last thing she did that bothers you? <clears throat> Do you want the real truth? <laughs> what was it, Madonna? <laughs> no, no, I think probably some things in her last uh, movie. The Avion bottle? Was, he was that? Like truth or he didn't like the truth masturbation or... scene. Oh, yeah. You're just the masturbation in front of the wall, huh? <laughs> I'm proud of her and I'm happy, you know, for her success. She's done a wonderful job. And, yeah. Uh, Does she buy you a lot of nice things? Oh, absolutely. She's What's the last thing she bought you? She just bought me uh, a John Deere riding tractor uh, for... <laughs> <laughs> I said to her, I was Wait a minute, I bought you a, um, oh, I bought you a, a, a gas-powered, um, you know, whatchamacallit, a, a, a thingamajiggy. You know, no, 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 chainsaw. you know, a chainsaw, yeah. Well, yeah, she I bought him a chainsaw. chainsaw. Now, did you know he powered. wanted one, or did you just buy a chainsaw when you were out one day? I just, I guess, I guess. She thought of her father, she said, chainsaw. he probably needs a chainsaw. Right? Dad, chainsaw, you know. No. Would, would you like her to get you one of these, maybe? No, because then my brother would come in the house and steal it. <laughs> oh, my God. Throwing <laughs> shit on my family. Look, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> what was she like as a little girl? She was very, a very nice young lady. Uh, Dad, please! As, yeah. as, she got, as she got older, she got testier. What about when I was little? And when I was little... But when she was little, she used to go visit, stay, spend the night with her friends, and she'd always throw up. Could, we could never figure out why she threw up. All, all we could think of was emotional. Because I knew it was in store for me. <laughs> you know what? She's like the sweetest, kindest girl in the world, but when in public she tries to pretend like she's not. Very oh, true. It's all pretense. That's very true. Thanks for coming by. I'm not apologizing. But you're very nice. Rosie Dad and Madonna will be right back. So what did you think of that? Her and Rosie O'Donnell together could get in a lot of trouble. Oh, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm glad that he actually was talking more to Rosie than he was to Madonna. Because... You know, Who are you talking about? Um, Arsenio. Okay. And he didn't... He didn't um, his interview with them were, was not as sexual, I hate to say it like that, but the last interview he had with Madonna was all about sex, sex, mm -hmm. sex. Most of his interviews are about sex, 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 so I'm glad. I think because Rosie do it, in a, do it in a different direction. Which, She's a comedian. No, I, and I get that, and I'm glad because, you know, it, that, that's one reason I really don't care for him too much. Yeah. It's because all his interviews are all about sex, he... And if I'm not mistaken, he's also anti-gay. Um, so, yeah. Not there, a big was, fan. there was a part on one of, on one of his shows that he did throw shade at a lot of uh, her gay dancers. Mm -hmm. But somehow, I don't know if it's been clipped. You can't find it. Or you can't find it no more. But he said they're light in their loafers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so, she, she, she stuck up for them big time. Like, well, she really threw it back does. at him. But, um... I just like the part because growing up knowing Madonna, Madonna knew her sexuality. Mm -hmm. 
But Madonna wasn't the type to go out and out her. Like when he said, what kind of guys do you like? Yeah. She she basically said eating out, you know, yeah. she kind of threw it that kind of way, but then reversed it to say they like dining out. Yeah. But, you know, she knew. I mean, and, and I'm so glad that, you know, Rosie O'Donnell and her are still friends to this day oh, of because of A League of Their Own. And, um, like when Madonna was in the hospital, Rosie O'Donnell was there every day giving updates to her fans. So, it's, Rosie, Rosie got, Rosie's gotten a lot of backlash, but for the most part, I like everything that she does. She's, she's funny as hell. Yep. I mean. And, and she doesn't sugarcoat it. No, she don't so. sugarcoat it. Well, she's Irish. Yeah. <laughs> True. But. I hope that you guys enjoyed that interview. Um, well, more like a more like a comedy sketch yeah, thank you. Um, with Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell on their Arsenio Hall show from 1992. I like that they surprised her with her dad. I uh, know. So. I'm surprised he went on there because he's he's very subdued. Yeah, but... He doesn't like the fame and glory and all that, no. and and just the fact that. She's worth millions of dollars, and she goes and buys him a John Deere tractor and a chainsaw. Well, because he does Because he likes simple things. And he wants to, he, he believes in doing stuff himself, not having people do it for him. So. And she respects that, just yeah. like he said. Yeah. Now, I, I also like the part on there where Rosie and her father were both saying, mm-hmm. She acts like a bitch in public, but that's not who she is in real life. She's sure. a very nice person. Correct. And I can see that. Um, but but anyway. we hope that you enjoyed that. And um, be forward, uh, look forward to our next reaction. And we hope that you um, come back and see us. Remember, we love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <clears throat>